only on a big smoothie kick. A bit leaner today. That's what happens when you stick two towels for one day in a row. You get leaner, man. I'm doing emails and responding to YouTube cards. It will be two videos ago. You might have to walk ahead like so in I'm fucked. Have you got shit to do? Um Oh you fucked you. Well to be honest, I have that too, but I can do it on my phone. Yeah, I'm cool shot. And I thought it's just fucking fucked. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's fucked. It's okay. Yeah, it's fucking all being like the fucking. Shall we all do something? Well I can just wait for you, man. So No, that's fine, honestly. Saturday peeps, we're on the way to Moose Coffee, which was one of my favourite breakfast spots when I was in Liverpool actually, but it's one in Manchester as well. They do ruthless pancakes, absolutely sick French toast, and great eggs Benedict. So I'm gonna pick up with some yolk porn. Yolk porn man, favourite kind of porn, apart from midget porn. Do you uh, see anything you like? Um, I'm not really into bright colours to be honest. I prefer more like dull, drab sort of um, sort of garments. Yeah, I don't think don't like anything with any sort of like politicised message either. No, you don't do you. Oh, excited about the moose, lad. What? You excited about the moose? Yeah, I'm fucking excited, man. I'm excited for all. The all that fucking saturated fat and shit. You love getting through a moose. I do love getting through a <laughs> Content, man. Yeah, we're all right. Sat in people, I have got eggs benedict with some pulled pork, garlic spinach, and absolutely crucified bacon. So we're just going to do some real quick yolk porn, and then I'm going to get through it. Let's get, let's get close in for this yolk porn. You want that, yeah? Oh, mate. That looks serious. That looks serious. Get it, man. I think my yolks are going to be like jovial. Oh, yours is okay. serious. Okay. Yeah. Come up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Monkey. Have a frosting on them. I don't like that. It makes it watery as fuck, mate. I haven't frozen man. <laughs> oh, like ice on my. See you anyway. We're doing glassy men for dessert. It's icy though. It's not a great one. I'm not happy about it. What's happening, peeps? A few things. Number one, good morning from Joey D's balcony. It's uh, 11 a.m. on Friday the 25th of August. And I woke up today to some slightly sad news, actually. Rich Piana's dead, isn't he? So that's not ideal. Uh, I feel like whatever you thought about him, still a shame that he died. But, uh, obviously, he had some less admirable qualities, such as the wild racist tirade that he was blown up for. Uh, but definitely some admirable qualities as well. There were certain things about Rich Piana that certainly constituted being a sick guy. So we've definitely lost, at the very least, some entertainment value because his videos and the comments under his videos, especially, were just absolute fucking lol a second. But so many lols in those comments. The guy got trolled harder than any other person in human history. Uh, but now he truly has left humanity behind, so R.I.P. Rich Piana. A few people asked me where I got these glasses from in the last video. It's, it's the shop, a little independent shop in Liverpool called Resurrection. So I don't think they're a brand or anything. I don't know. I have no idea how you'd ever find them online or any, any shit like that. So 
just a few people asked me so I thought I'd answer. Uh, tomorrow we got Thomas Moore coming up, aka TM Cycles. So we're gonna film some shit together. I'm not usually into like collabing or like certainly going out my way to like collab, bro, do a collab. You know, collab with people. Uh, it's just not my vibe, but I've spoken to him a couple of times before and that's the amount of body power he seems cool, so you know. So we'd say I and film some shit. Uh, other updates, I'm six days out from my holiday. Uh, I feel pretty lean actually, so what I'm going to do here is, is just uh, throw in a clip from a couple of days ago. Uh, now, I did have a pump and I was in good lighting, but you can see that I'm fairly lean at the moment. So, here's that clip. <clears throat> so the plan is to keep cutting for the next few days and then what I'm actually going to do for two or three days before I go away is just take my cows back up to maintenance because I feel like it's a bad idea to go straight into a holiday like in a depleted, cutting, just hungry state uh, because what you really want to do is decrease the likelihood uh, of you going all out binge mode and just fucking up all your shreds straight up uh, and ideally you don't want to depend on willpower to do that you want to do everything you can uh, to just make that less likely basically and if I go up to maintenance for a few days then it will certainly curb some of the kind of cravings and just to reduce, reduce the probability of me completely fucking it on holiday so I can keep some, keep some shreds and shit. Anyway, I'm gonna pick up soon. Ciao peeps. Right. Are you rolling? I'm rolling. Let me put the DEA agent mark. You're a Narcos fan? Not a Narcos fan. No, I'm not a TV fan. Man. Come on, you're the Jule Puta. Name and YouTube slash Instagram handles. YouTube name. My name is Thomas Moore. My YouTube name is TM Cycles. I reckon a few of you all might know who I am. Yeah. Maybe. General subject matter for YouTube. Steroids. I wonder if I'll get any done like you on steroids. <laughs> um, most common question people ask you about gear. Most common question people ask me is, is so and so on steroids? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But the most common question people ask me about gear is, what is the best beginner cycle, what is the best steroid cycle? All the time. And I say, well, if you sign up to my steroid coaching, then I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Make money out um, of How old are you now? 23, 24 in October. But I look 30. <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> 32 in a rough paper, aren't I? <laughs> um, when did you first do your first cycle? When I was... 19, no, 20, well, literally, when I turned 20, October, can't remember the year, but I was 19, started way too young, <clears throat> which is something I always say on my channel, is I wish I pushed myself to my natural limit, but shit happens, but that is the first thing that I tell people, and that's what I get, though. I get a lot of, I'm uh, just starting the gym, what steroids do you recommend? So it's now transition from I'm starting the gym, what, pro what supplements should I take to what supplements, what steroid cycle should I take? It's forks, man. I guess there's like a fine line between 
educating people and encouraging people. Of course. It's a very fine line. Because you want to, part of you is like, that's what I say though, I'm not promoting steroid usage. But I, it's like the whole Russell Brand thing, you can never stop people from taking drugs. If you're going to, you know, mum and dad might say no, but then you're still going to go, oh, fuck it, I'm taking it. So my, my view, vision is, look, if you are taking it, take it in the safest way possible with the, you know, which will cause the least harm to your body. But if you have a pre-existing health condition, it's only going to exacerbate you. Steroids don't keep, kill people. I know you're thinking, oh, Rich has died, Dallas has died, but steroids do not kill you. Abusing anything, abusing anything is going to kill you, but... Hmm. Have you experienced, personally, any sides? If so, which? Zero. Absolutely none. Roid rage is a, <clears throat> in my opinion, and an opinion that many others share with me, is completely myth. It's the typical, I'm on gear, I'm now a fucking alpha. No gyno, maybe hair loss. Like people say, I'm a fucking, do you know what I mean? See the comment section. Like, I get that one. Like devil doesn't want. But I say when the hair grows longer and you slick it back, obviously it's gonna look. Well, like the thing is, people say my hairline's receding, but it's actually been there since it was two. It's really? not receding; it's just receded. It's just yeah, there. of course. It's just far back. So when you're 35, 40, you. Yeah, so when you're fuck off. <laughs> um, what's the ultimate goal? Like you said that you wish you would have reached your natty mm. limit. So are you now gonna reach like? Your juicy limit. I don't know because I, <laughs> I don't. I know full. Well, I'm a realist, so I'm not going to be one of these guys like, yeah, I'm going to be the best. Like, I know I'm never going to be on the Olympia stage. <clears throat> one, I don't take the drugs that they take, and two, I don't have the genetics. But I would like to win a British show, a British title. Definitely, and I, I reckon, I, yeah, that's a, so I'll do that. Um, I guess that. Personally, I always, one of the things that probably deterred me from ever taking any mm. forms of anti drugs um, was the idea that if I started, mm. then stopping would be, well, is it possible? Can you come out of it cleanly? Like, I've heard a lot about like, your test levels then taking a, a, a very long time to kind of come back to normal production all that kind of stuff not really not at all depending on how long you've been on but if you're uh, if you are on steroids for an elongated period of time obviously when your natural testosterone comes back isn't it's mimicking the almost the time on versus time off but if you do a 10 week cycle come off pct wait a few months then go back on genuinely keep that going you've got two routes you've got that and you've got blasting and cruising which is what i do which is essentially like a cocktail of drugs for a certain amount of time and then i'll come taper down to almost nothing and then go back up again and then I'll do that for eight months and come off for about three to four months but that's because I compete so it's I don't want that crash when I'm competing so but yeah you'll be absolutely f well <laughs> not that I'm, not that I'm saying go and do it Joey I'll be fine. but you like I said to you in the gym you'd respond crazy because you pushed your do you know what I mean you pushed that natural genetic limit and I reckon you've still got distance to go so um, give me a rough estimate, money-wise, how much, let's say, give me a, a month blasting <coughs> versus a month cruising. It's hard because you don't do it on months, do you know what I mean? Right, okay, well, what? So when people say oh, how much you spend on gear a month, it's not really like that. So say if you wanted to do a 10-week blast with like trend, test, maybe chuck an oral in there, you're looking at... <laughs> maybe chuck an oral. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> the blase, chuck an oral. Chuck an oar in there. It depends who you supply, it depends who you yeah. lab. Do you know what I'm saying? So, vary between like minimum maybe like 90 to 100, maximum no, no more than 150, 160. Right, right. Cruising. Less so, you're talking about, agenda. yeah, like I get a bottle of Testy for £29. Right. And you get what, a tub of protein and GNC for 40 yeah. 50 I don't know what. Uh, all right, final question. Is there any, any specific drugs, substances, or anything that comes under that umbrella that you would particularly say to people should stay away from? Mm, that I would not take myself. I would never take GH. I wouldn't take insulin. 
you've seen Dallas die. 26. Whether that's from his own incompetence with dosages or who knows, but you're getting, you're seeing more and more and more descending stomachs. Don't forget, growth hormone is increasing not only your muscles but your heart. Your, so you're getting this horrible effect. And for the area that I want to stay in, which is classic physique, there's no, there's no room for having a big gut. You want a nice tapered V. You want to be able to perform your little vacuums and that. But I'd stay away from growth and insulin. Uh, I'm, and I'm, there's drugs that I haven't taken that I will take, but at the time being, I'm pretty happy with. Do you know what I mean? But off the back of it, growth and insulin. Hi, right, killed. Should we sign out with a kind of McGregor impression? Ah, <clears throat> oh, you put me under pressure. You gotta live up to Mike's fucking Bear Grylls impressions. How good was that? We am the number one pound for pound, yeah? What else did he say? Break out the red panties. It's red panty night tonight. Peeps, we're gonna do a half natty lighting. Physique update. Yeah? Physique update. Don't Physique the film news. Please, mate, yeah. Why are you taking the contrast down on this? It's pretty shit fucking. Like it was saying, dynamic range, innit? Yeah. When's the show? 31st of August, mate. Yeah, I'm at that point in the court where workouts are just becoming less enjoyable. Um, I, I, f I forgot what a pump feels like, really. Yeah, and by the time I'm getting onto about you know, like eighth to tenth set, I'm just losing like all connection with the actual like feeling of the rep. If you know what I mean, you feel like it's hard to just fully engage everything. Um, it's just less than ideal, and basically. This is a long-winded way of me saying that I can't wait to get back in a surplus, start like lifting decent weights again, and you know, just pushing the night boundaries, man. Anyway, we're gonna eat. There's lots of my gym that are on this, and they don't look like Joe. Therefore, you know, as that like, like obviously there can be people who who, who are on gear and look worse than you. You know, it doesn't really mean that it, it's it's mad on. Oh, honestly, I've like, worked with about three, four people okay, yeah. that have been on those gear with good training, <laughs> and they have not yeah. changed for shit. One thing that people say uh, that I hear a lot is something about like people say, especially our oh, Mike. Mike's got sick. I mean, generally, he's got pretty sick fucking body to the next, I think. I think so. Because I've seen him like. I know how he trains, I know how he fucking lives. He's, he's got good fitness. His physique is fucking daft. Yeah. And the way that he the way that he comes bounces back if he has like a month off for some, from some injury or something, he bounces back like that. I seen a picture the other week and he was fucking mad man. Mm -hmm. But I've but but he's got particularly good shoulders, man. Big round yeah, fucking right. delts, man. And people say that like your delts and your traps, they have more like androgen Andrew receptors or some shit like that. And so that, and so anyone, because obviously August has got sick. Delts, right? So it's a go-to, yeah. So people say this. Yeah. But I, I don't know how much that. I, I've never looked into it. Is it's it, like the bro like, side. Is the truth steroids, in that? Like, I mean? is that like a? Um. You know. Not. It's like the bro science of steroids. Right. But you do do respond very. Your delt and your. But then it's you all, have sick traps. Exactly, and I don't train them. Right. I train them maybe once a week, less even that. But yeah, like I don't train traps. Yeah, and you immediately think so, like, because you don't. You obviously can in much you, in your videos much as it. But sometimes you're there, stood, and you can see like the top bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, it's your traps. Right? Yeah, but then some you might have someone I have who's no traps. Yeah, <laughs> but you you might have an. I actually prefer a no trap look, man. Yes. I think traps equal bodybuilder. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and I'm not into a bodybuilder kind of yeah, look, man. Of course. Thank you very much. Just park. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Park, that's yeah. right. Thanks. Is that mine? That's yours.
this is mine. What's that? Philip Skewers or some shit. No, I didn't order that, love. Didn't you? I see one. Mm -hmm. I just said, yeah. I ordered these prawns. I'm never ordering them again though, because they were six quid or seven quid. I've got five What's of those shit, shit prawns. Ask it. Oh, eat it if you want. I know. Ask it. That is nice. Talk to me. Seven quid for them prawns. That's terrible, isn't it? Filo as well. Absolutely squids. Fat for days. He's read my ticket wrong and it was for? the shrimp rice and sweet pork you've ordered. Right, yeah. So that's coming out now, but you can have that anyway. Oh, okay. oh share lovely. That. Thank you so much. No worries. I'm that's actually great. Thanks. Macro's unknown one. Unfucking known, mate. Macro's YOLO. Charlie. Verdict? Charlie, man. Good. Very well. Yeah, sweet, man. Mm. In Khayab. That's the shit, mate. That's the shit right there. Colors. Them chilies, mate. Fucking I'd everywhere. I'd be down every day if I was here. Yeah, it's fine. Let's do a quick one. So, people, we're in Delamere. We stole these two bikes, found some kids, and I was like, Mags, get us those bikes. And she was like, <laughs> So, anyway, <laughs> that was me being a mime. I was a mime in a past life. Um, anyway, we got bikes. They're asking me, Mum and Dad's. So, we didn't be up kids, we just be up my mum and dad. We're gonna go for a bike ride and see some nice little scenery. Okay, bye. Was that good? Was that funny? Yeah, it was funny. Yeah. Cheers, babe. Rides with the Bundies. Da da da. Joe and the Max. Joe and the Max. Joe and the Max. On bikes. On bikes. We've got bikes. Yes. Forest. Go on. The flying bugs. <laughs> it doesn't feel that safe, if I'm honest. Do you want me to push you? Yes. Alright, I need all your might, all your strength. Can I put this down then? Nah, I can jump off that. 
You know this. There we get the GoPro on. Where is it? It's there on top of the bike. If I didn't hold on to that, I would have been dead, mate. I would have been dead. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh, that is really so funny, George. <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Jordi Lenny is my hero!